Number one, how many grams are there in 3.5 moles of carbon atoms? So how can we do this? The first thing you want to do is identify the molar mass of carbon. So if you go to the periodic table, you'll see that carbon has an atomic number of 6 and a mass number of 12. You want to look for the larger of the two numbers, which is 12. So that's the molar mass of carbon. So what that means is that carbon has a molar mass of 12 grams per mole. So one mole of carbon has a mass of 12 grams. This is your conversion factor. This is what you need to convert grams to moles. You need the molar mass. So start with what you're given. That is 3.5 moles of carbon. Now in the second fraction, use your conversion factor to convert from moles to grams. Now because we have moles of carbon on the top left, we need to put moles of carbon on the bottom right. The number that's associated with that is 1. On the top, we're going to put the other stuff, the 12 grams of carbon. So notice how the unit moles of carbon cancel. Whenever you have two numbers on top, you need to multiply. So it's going to be 3.5 times 12. So this is equal to 42 grams of carbon. So there are 42 grams of carbon in 3.5 moles of carbon atoms. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Number two, convert 4.2 moles of sulfur into grams. So based on our last example, feel free to pause the video and try this one. So let's begin. First, look for sulfur in the periodic table. Sulfur has an atomic number of 16 and a mass number of 32.07. Well, at least that's the average atomic mass. So the molar mass of sulfur is 32.07 grams per mole. So now we need to write our conversion factor. So what this means is that one mole of sulfur has a mass of 32.07 grams. So this is what we need to convert from moles to grams. Now let's start with what we're given. We're given 4.2 moles of sulfur. Now in the next fraction, we need to put moles in the bottom so it will cancel with the moles on the top left. So we have one mole of sulfur, which we can write here. And that equates to 32.07 grams of sulfur. So these units will cancel, leaving behind units grams of sulfur. So 4.2 times 32.07. That's equal to 134.694 grams of sulfur. So it's very straightforward to convert from moles to grams. Once you practice it a few times, you're going to get good at it. Number three, how many grams are present in 5.9 moles of CO2? Now this problem is a little bit more challenging than the last one because we now have a molecule instead of an atom. So the first thing we need to do is find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So we have one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. The atomic mass of carbon is 12.01. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So we need to calculate the total molecular mass of CO2. 2 times 16 is 32. If we add that to 12.01, this will give us 44.01. So that is the molar mass of CO2. It's 44.01 grams per mole. So that's the first thing that we need to find. So now we can write our conversion factor. One mole of carbon dioxide, CO2, has a mass of 44.01 grams. 
Now once we have our conversion factor, we can now convert from grams to moles, or I mean from moles to grams. So let's start with what we're given, 5.9 moles of CO2. In the second fraction, we're going to put this again. That's not going to change. So one mole of CO2. And on top, we're going to put the grams, 44.01 grams. So all we need to do is multiply the number of moles by the molar mass. So 5.9 moles times 44.01 grams per mole. And so that's equal to 259.659 grams of CO2. Let's try a similar example. How many grams of glucose can be found in a sample containing 4.5 moles of C6H12O6? That's the molecular form of glucose. So take a minute and pause the video. Try this example. Unpause it when you're ready to see the solution. So let's start by finding the molar mass of C6H12O6. So this molecule has 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms. So carbon has an atomic mass of 12.01, hydrogen is about 1.008, and oxygen is just about 16. 6 times 12.01, that's 72.06. And then 12 times 1.008, that's about 12.096. And then 6 times 16, that's 96. So now let's add up these three numbers. So you should get this, 180.156 grams per mole. So that's the molar mass of glucose. So now let's write a conversion factor. One mole of glucose has a mass of 180.156 grams. So now we can convert moles to grams. So we're given 4.5 moles of C6H12O6. And one mole of the same substance has a mass of 180.156 grams. So once again, all we need to do is just take the number of moles and multiply it by the molar mass. So 4.5 times 180.156. And this is equal to... 810.702 grams. So that's the mass of glucose in this example. So now this problem is a little bit more difficult than the last one. There are more steps involved for this problem. Calculate the mass in kilograms of a sample of 2.7 moles of ammonium nitrate. So we know the first thing we need to do is find the molar mass. But we don't have the formula for ammonium nitrate. Sometimes you'll be given the name instead of the formula, and you have to come up with a formula. So what is the formula of ammonium nitrate? Well, hopefully you've committed to memory the polyatomic ions that you need to know. Hopefully on your test, your teacher's going to give you the polyatomic ion sheet. If not, you just got to commit them to memory. Ammonium is NH4+. Plus. Nitrate is NO3-. Minus. Now, because the charges are the same, they're both one, but regardless of the sign, if the charges are the same, you could simply write them together. So the formula for ammonium nitrate is NH4NO3. Let's say if you have calcium sulfide. Calcium has a plus 2 charge. Sulfur has a minus 2 charge. The charges are the same if you don't look at the sign. So this would simply be calcium sulfide. If the charges are different, 
then you need to do something else completely. So we need to find the molar mass of NH4, NO3. So we have two nitrogen atoms, four hydrogen atoms, and three oxygen atoms. So nitrogen is about 14.01. Hydrogen is 1.008. And then oxygen is 16. So this is going to be 28.02. plus 4.032, and 3 times 16 is 48. So the total is about 80.052 grams per mole. So our conversion factor is 1 mole of ammonium nitrate will have a mass of 80.052 grams. Now let's start with what we're given, which is 2.7 moles of ammonium nitrate. Now let's convert moles into grams using our conversion factor. So one mole of NH4NO3 has a mass of 80.052 grams. So we can cancel the unit moles. Now, we want the mass in kilograms, not grams. So we need to convert it to kilograms. What you need to know is that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Now, what unit do we want to put on the bottom? Since we have grams on top, we need to put the 1,000 grams on the bottom and 1 kilogram on top. So now the unit grams will cancel. So it's going to be 2.7 times 80.052 times, or divided by, 1,000. So the answer is 0.216 kilograms of ammonium nitrate. Here's another one that you could try. Calculate the mass in milligrams of a sample of 0 0.072 moles of aluminum sulfate. Now the first thing we need to do before we could find the molar mass is we need to write the chemical formula of aluminum sulfate. Now if you look for aluminum in the periodic table, you'll find that it's in group 13 or group 3A of the periodic table. And aluminum has a positive 3 charge. Sulfate is a polyatomic ion, and you just need to know what it is. Sulfate is SO4 with a negative 2 charge. So now what we're going to do is replace the charges with the subscripts and switch them. So the formula is going to be Al2 SO4 3. Whenever you have multiple polyatomic ions, you need to enclose it within a parenthesis. So this is the chemical formula of aluminum sulfate. You could also look it up online too. Now let's go ahead and find the molar mass. So we got two aluminum atoms, three sulfur atoms, and there are 12 oxygen atoms. Four times three is 12. So aluminum is about 26.98. Sulfur is 32.07. And oxygen is just 16. So 2 times 26.98, that's 53.96. And 3 times 32.07, that's 96.21. 12 times 16, that's 192. So now let's add up the three values. So the total is 342.17 grams per mole. Now let's start with 0 0.072 moles of aluminum sulfate. And let's convert moles to grams. 
So the molar mass tells us that one mole of the substance has a mass of 342.17 grams. Now we want the mass to be in milligrams. One gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. So we're going to put one gram on the bottom and 1,000 milligrams on top. So the only unit that should be left over is milligrams, which is what we want. So now we just need to multiply the three numbers. It's 0 0.072 times 342.17, and then take that result times it by 1,000. So the answer is 24,636 milligrams.